Some of you may be considering upgrading your S9 Plus to the new Galaxy S10 Plus that Samsung just announced. Or maybe you're thinking of buying the S9 Plus now, now that the S10 is out so you can get a better deal. Which one should you buy? We're comparing them both here to find out. So starting with the back, you can already see a huge difference in design between the two phones. They're about similar in size, but of course the camera module is no longer vertical like the S9 Plus over on the left. Instead, now you have a horizontal camera setup, and that's quite similar to the Galaxy Note 9. Nicole, of course, you can also see there's two cameras in the S9 Plus, whereas the S10 Plus has triple cameras. So one of the new things is a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera, which is paired by the same exact 12 megapixel standard lens with a variable aperture and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens. Those two are the same as the ones on the S9 Plus. So really that extra ultra wide megapixel, 16 megapixel camera is what's new there. Gone is also the fingerprint sensor, which leaves a pretty minimal looking back on the front, on the back of the S10 Plus. It's now built underneath the display here. It's called an ultrasonic in-display fingerprint sensor. And now you can unlock the phone just by tapping this area and boom, voila, it's unlocked. Of course, if you want a better visualization, that's what it looks like. And all you need to do is place your finger there and it unlocks. And that's super secure, more secure than the fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy S9 Plus. So you can use it for payments with Samsung Pay and it's Fido, Fido Alliance approved. So now going to the displays, it's a 6.2 inch AMOLED screen on the S9 Plus, but it's a 6.4 inch dynamic AMOLED on the S10 Plus. The S10 screen is HDR10 Plus certified, so you're getting better colors and a sharper screen in general. But also take a look at the top and you'll see that hole punch camera, which is also known as the Infinity O display. That's something new that's on the S10 Plus. Essentially, Samsung has gotten rid of the bezels around the top and the bottom, slimmed them down to be able to put the camera so that it looks like a hole punch on a piece of paper, it's basically floating. And that has the benefit of giving you that slightly bigger screen size, 6.4 again versus 6.2 on the S9 Plus. The Galaxy S10 Plus now also natively reduces blue light exposure by 42%. And that's all done without needing some kind of yellow filter. So blue light exposure at night can lead to disruptions in your sleep, which can affect your health. So having that natively in built into the screen is a plus. So I'm gonna open the camera app on both phones. Now check out this cool little animation that's gonna pop up on the top right of the hole punch camera on the S10 Plus. That's a pretty neat feature that you can't have on this phone because it's not a dynamic AMOLED screen. Now over to the cameras, since we're over here in the selfie cameras, uh, obviously the S10 Plus has an extra camera here on the front, whereas you're only getting that single camera on the S9. Regardless, the S9 Plus's camera is worse than the S10 Plus's because it's a 10 megapixel camera on here on the S10 Plus. And uh, that second camera is an eight megapixel camera, but that's only for depth. So you're getting better uh, live focus, which is essentially Samsung's portrait mode. So like snapping a photo, you can definitely expect the S10 Plus to produce a better image. Of course, that's not the best example, but of course you can also use live focus to be get better portrait mode uh, effects, even though live focus is also available here on the S9 Plus as well. And quickly, if we flip over the cameras, uh, you can see going back to normal photo mode, this is the only two lenses you can swap to on the S9 Plus, and here are all three cameras now that you can swap to on the S10 Plus, including the new ultra wide. And what's neat is you can actually slide and just keep going throughout all of them instead of just tapping on each new lens. Both phones run Android Pie now. The S9 Plus just got the update very recently in the US, uh, but that update brought one UI, which is Samsung's new uh, user interface. So you're getting more stuff to access here on the bottom part of the screen rather than at the top. And you're also getting dark mode options so that you don't have to deal with uh, bright white settings, especially when you open the phone and use it at night. 
but otherwise you're getting a pretty similar experience across the board in terms of software. It's just that the S10 Plus would likely be supported for a longer period of time, so it'll likely get Android Q as well as next year's Android version. Specs-wise, there are also just major upgrades as well on the S10 Plus. You're getting a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor, so you're getting much improved speeds. And there's eight gigs of RAM here in the S10 Plus version versus the Snapdragon 845 on the S9 Plus and four gigs of RAM. There is also an 12 gigs of RAM option on the S10 Plus if you opt for the 512 gigabytes version or the one terabyte option. The Galaxy S10 Plus has a bigger battery. It's a 4100 milliamp powered battery as opposed to the 3500 milliamp powered battery on the S9 Plus. They both support wireless charging. But there's a new feature called Wireless Power Share that lets you charge other devices, other Qi enabled devices with the back of the phone. So all you need to do is place another Qi enabled product on the back of the S10 Plus and it'll just start charging. There you go. So that's a quick look at the Galaxy S10 Plus and the Galaxy S9 Plus. Now the Galaxy S10 Plus has a couple new features as well. There's Wi-Fi 6, which is the next generation Wi-Fi technology. There's a couple new AI upgrades in the camera as well and in the software. And it also supports a vapor chamber cooling system for better heat dissipation so you can have slightly better performance over the Galaxy S10. Uh, of course, the prices are also different. This originally launched at $840, but you can obviously find it for a lot cheaper now, but the Galaxy S10 Plus will set you back $1,000. It does come with a little more storage than this one did initially, so there is that to consider. But overall, uh, we think the features in the new Galaxy S10 Plus are definitely worth the money, but we'll be doing a full review to find out.